Hey, what's up? I'm Andy, and I'm 17 years old. I live in Boca Raton, Florida. Tennis is a rush. Come on. Andy is ranked first in the world among under 18 year olds. In January 2000, he won the juniors in the Australian Open. Andy's best weapon is a serve. He holds the record for the fastest serve in U.S. tournament history 139 miles per hour, faster than Pete Sampras and other major professionals. It's pretty impressive for a 17 year old. According to tennis star John McEnroe, Andy is the United States' most promising young player since Pete Sampras and Andre Agassi. Originally from Nebraska, a few years ago Andy and his parents moved to this luxurious home in Florida where the climate is ideal for tennis. They hired a private coach, Tariq Benavilez, who in Yannick Morning, Noah's guys. time was ranked third in France. I think he's going to be a great player. Good player for sure. And then after, I don't know, he can reach, pro he had the potential to be in the top 30, that's for sure. I don't know when, how long it will take, that's for sure. I can't say that, you know, you know we never know. You know, he can be injured, he can be something, but he has the potential to be there. Then after, you know, after, it depends how is he going to, to react to all that uh, success a little bit, to that ranking, to the environment is going to change. Does he really want to win a Grand Slam? Is he going to keep working hard like uh, hell for to make it? So it seems like he had a lot of ambitions and you know exactly what he wants and he is pursuing a dream. I don't think there's any other rush like, like competition and serious competition when you want something you know a lot and you're out there competing for it and there's two people that just want something very much and you know just to go out there and try to get it it's, uh, it's a great feeling. The more passion and excitement that a young person has about and an image that they can really be good, the belief in themselves, and that this is really great fun, because it's a it's a lifetime of hitting balls. You have to really find that there's something really exciting about the growth and the potential. There has to be a sense that I want this for me. It's not you pushing me. It's what I want for for my life, and that's probably the single most important dynamic because it requires so much work, so much uh, energy and effort that unless it comes from the player themselves, you have no chance. Surprisingly, perhaps, government support for young tennis players is no better in the U.S. But with its far stronger sports tradition, private U.S. companies regularly assist and sign contracts with promising young athletes. They don't sit around waiting for them to become stars. We were at the Easter Bowl, which is a big national tournament uh, in Miami at the Giraffe. And my husband and I were watching another match. And Andy comes up to us and said, here, you have to sign this. I said, what am I signing? He said, my Reebok contract. I said, excuse me? Because kids at 10 years old do not get clothing. And I said, Andy, what, what is this? What are you doing? And he says, I went up to them and I told them that I'm Andy Roddick and I'm going to be a great player and this is your chance. <laughs> and they fell for the line and he got his Reebok sponsorship. And he was 10 years old, probably one of the youngest kids in the United States with a closing contract. Andy, what would you like to achieve in tennis? Achieve? Um, just to be the best player I can work to be, so. And what would you like to win? Would you like to win Wimbledon or U.S. Open? No, I don't, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. I, I would love to win either of those, but I'm not hey, thinking that far ahead yet. Nine. Ten. Work. Ah. You take someone like Andy Roddick, for instance, is not only a fantastic talent, he's, his potential is unlimited. He's a great player, he's got a lot of charisma on the court, and he's good looking, he's very marketable, and he's from, you know, he's an American, and he's the number one junior in the world as American goes a long way.